Yo everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing my September favourites. Where's the year gone? My birthday month is over. It's now getting colder. The leaves are starting to change. I mean admittedly autumn is like the best time of the year. Hands down it is like the time when all the leaves change and just usual comfy warm fires and you know the usual sort of thing. But anyway so I wanted to share with you what my favourites for the month of September have been and um some of them or most of them shouldn't be too much of a surprise if you follow me on instagram you would already know the things that i use on a day-to-day -day basis as i post my face of the days on there almost every day and on places like snapchat if you follow me on snapchat you already are aware of the things that i use on a regular basis so by all means follow me on those two areas because you're always more likely to see things in real time as i buy them as i wear them rather than waiting for the end of the month to see whether they make it into my favorites or not so at least this way you can kind of keep more up to date with me if you want to of course so the first thing i'm going to show you is and you know what the funny thing is i swear it's been it was in my last month's favorite and the month before i think and it has made it into favorites again and it's not often something like this happens especially with a product like an eyeshadow palette normally it's like a foundation which you use again and again and again but the um anastasia beverly hills modern renaissance palette ugh, i can't get enough of it you know what I've, i have literally used it so much more than i have any other eyeshadow over the past couple of months eyeshadow palette even i even you guys would have seen in my rome vlog that i took this to rome with me i wore it on my birthday during the day when i went to the coliseum and i haven't really put it down i mean i don't use it every single day but i still use it quite a lot more than something which i obviously bought a couple of months ago compared to something which is quite new so i have really 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 been loving this and now staying on with anastasia beverly hills the two glow kits moon child and sweet these are again palettes which I have used consistently over the past month as well as last month as well these are still the broken ones I haven't obviously opened up the new replacement ones that they sent me because I'm still going through these and I took them both to Rome with me as well which you guys would have seen now I'm not going to show it up close because I've still got the plastic covering on from when they were broken but I have been using both of these so 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 much even this one Moonchild which most people would think it's a little bit unwearable because there's like a bluish shade a purple a greeny color and like a silvery grayish shade nope I've been using all of these even today I'm using um purple horseshoe and I've mixed it with blue ice so that it's not as purpley on my face so like it's not over the top not sure if the light shows it properly or not kind of so I've been loving this one and then the same with sweets again now unfortunately since I filmed that uh, video uh, showing how to fix my broken highlighters this one butterscotch has now broken it was kind of on its way and now it has officially decided to break so I'm gonna have to do that whole alcohol thing on it um but all of these shades I have still not used taffy I'm not sure why maybe I'm just turned off by it a little bit because it's quite dark without actually giving it the opportunity to put it on my face so I really need to kind of start using this especially because it is that kind of perfect fall autumn shade and the shades marshmallow and sassy grape absolutely love them love all of them they're stunning they're gorgeous another highlighter palette that i've been loving this month is the kathleen lights um highlighter palette by makeup geek again this is something that i have used consistently i used it in one of my previous um makeup tutorials as well i absolutely love it you can buy it in the uk from beauty bay or you can do like me and buy it direct from makeup geek it is limited edition but generally limited edition things from makeup geek tend to last like a year so everyone's normally got a chance to get their hands on it and if you want to know how i ship over us products to myself in the uk at a more affordable cheaper rate i will link my video below i use a company called my more box now it's not and i've uh, this is the one thing that i think i forgot to actually say in any of my videos it's not specific to the uk my more box deliver all over the world so if you live for example i know one of you guys mentioned that you lived in italy they ship to italy as well so by all means look into them but please have a look at the video that i will link below so i've really been loving this again from my rome trip is this contour and highlighting powder which is called instamark it's got such a long name light filtering contour powder in the shade mirage filter now i've been using this pretty much every day since i bought it i use the contour shade to contour my face and then i use the highlighter just to set my chin my nose my forehead and my under eye area after i've applied concealer and liquid highlighter so i've been using this loads and i think it's really really great it's not something that I would necessarily recommend as a must-have because it is quite pricey and it is, at the end of the day, just a contour and a um, 
a powder, a highlighting setting powder. So you can still get ones which are cheaper. It's just for me personally, what has been my favourites this month is this. But I would always say go ahead and get the NYX one, which I still love. I've just been using this one because it's new. So um, just throwing that out there. And the same goes for this one as well. Lush and Libido Air Blush by Marc Jacobs is another shade that I've been using loads. I've actually been using this... I probably used it 50 for 50 percent of september because it's such a beautiful soft finely milled powder and then it gives a really beautiful pinkish glow to the face so i've been loving this but again any pink blush will do generally you don't have to go and get mark jacobs and i purely say that because i know how pricey the mark jacobs products are yes i mean they're good but you know what there are other products or brands out there which are just as good like urban decay but cost a lot less now talking of urban decay the all-nighter foundation i have used Pretty much for the whole month of September, the shade that I bought mine in is 7.0 and after I finish this video, I'm actually going shopping to Westfield to go and buy another one. I'm going to go and buy another shade, probably 6.0 because uh, 7.0, I'm not sure you can really tell because I've got big light around my face. It has become a little bit dark for me. My tan has almost faded and I bought this one. I still had a tan, so it worked for me then, but I'm starting to gradually go back to NC40 from NC42 now that I'm, I've, um, there's not as much sun around. I mean... Me personally, at my age as well, because I'm in my 30s, I try to keep out of the sun nowadays. When I was in my 20s, I would all be lying there on the beach, roasting and changing from dark to dark to darker. I, would, I wouldn't care. I mean, I used to wear sun protection vector uh, SPF, but I would still, you know, tan as much as I can. And I try not to nowadays, especially after I had that surgery to remove that lump on my face, I was told to stay out the sun for six months. And because I've been using a derma roller over the past um, couple of weeks, which I will at the end of October be doing a video on how I use a derma roller, how to reduce and get rid of acne, scarring, pigmentation, fine lines, that sort of thing. Which if you follow me on Snapchat, you would already know because I've done two demos on there and I thought I'd do the third demo as an actual video so that I can give you some proper feedback but regardless going off point because I've been using a derma roller and I am basically damaging my skin on purpose I'm staying out of the sun as much as possible so any tan that I have got is mostly just down to driving because the sun's coming through onto my face and I can't hide from it or just random walking about here or there and this is now getting a bit too dark for me and I have used half of it you can see that that area there is what how much is left so I'm going to go and buy another one of these. I love this. This is my holy grail. Mwah, love it. This dirty looking brush that I've got here is the Real Technique Setting Brush. It's one of the newest brushes that I bought recently. I've been using it to set my under eye area. And I've been using the Marc Jacobs, um, the highlighting bit, basically, to set all these areas. And I absolutely love it. It's a perfect little fluffy brush. And it fits really nicely under the eyes. This eyeshadow palette I've been using quite a lot since I bought it. It's an ice cream palette by Dose of Colours. I showed you guys in my haul video. And it looks like this. It's beautiful. It's colourful. It's full of mattes as well as foiled shadows. And you can wear it for fun, daytime sort of colourful looks. And you can still go for your nighttime sort of glam. A little bit of smokiness there. And it's just a beautiful, beautiful palette. So... This is another thing that I've been loving more towards the end of September, I'd say, because obviously that's when you guys recently saw the haul. So I've not had it too long. And going on from that haul video as well, I showed you guys a bunch of ColourPop liquid lipsticks and lipsticks from their full collection. I've been loving every single one of these. These are all beautiful. And I got the shades Hutch, Notion, viper and suki which is a gloss and it's the first gloss that i've ever bought from them and i have to say that it's lovely it's not too sticky and i wore it on top of one of these i can't remember which one it was because if you are the kind of person who likes the idea of liquid lipsticks especially the way it really makes your lips stand out but you don't like the whole drying effect and flakiness that you can get from some wear a lip gloss on top it sorts that problem out completely that's actually what i've done today i'm wearing anastasia beverly hills vintage liquid lipstick and then i put on her vintage lip gloss on top so you still get that whole 3d kind of look but then you also get the comfort of just having a lip gloss on top and having a lip gloss does reduce the wear time by a little bit but not too much so basically you've got like full coverage lip gloss on all day and that's Anyway, yeah, so been loving all of these and I will be getting some of the other parts of the collection at some point soon. So I will be doing a haul because as I said, Colourpop always release all their collections in three parts. So this was like their more plummy, 
um, wine shades, then they did a terracotta part of their collection and a dusty rose. So I've got a couple of things from each of those, but I've been loving all of these. Like I said, follow me on Instagram and you will see me wearing all of these so that you can see them as a HD picture, what they look like in real time, in real life. Last few things I want to show you are some of these sleek eyeshadow palettes by now Hopefully you would have seen all the reviews along with swatches and the makeup tutorials that I've done with these So the first one is the goodnight sweetheart palette um, Which is limited edition. I'm not going to take it out I'll link the review below and so that you can see it in great detail and as well as the makeup tutorial I did with it same as the on the horizon palette, which is also limited edition the uh a good night sweetheart one is more kind of plums and mauvey shades and this one is more oranges and blues and those kind of other type of fall colors and then the only one i've not done a review on is this one which is called nordic skies and it's also a limited edition palette i'll show you guys here because you wouldn't have seen it in any of my videos and i've used this one quite a bit as well the whole point of these eyeshadows is that they're very fresh, kind of soft sort of colours. Even the names are done to reflect it, like Eskimo Kiss, uh, Moonshine, Polar Night, Purple Haze, Blue Moon. So you kind of get the idea of what they're trying to get out. But I've really been loving this palette as well. But if I had to choose what my favourite out of all three of them was, I'd probably say On The Horizon one. I think that, oh, I don't know, maybe it's Good Night Sweetheart. I don't know, it's difficult. I do love all of them, to be fair. And then from the Goodnight Sweetheart collection, there was also three VIP lipsticks that came out with it, which I, again, link the review so that you can see lip swatches and whatnot of all three of them. But my favourite one was this one here, and this one is called Icon. It's like a pale mauvey pink, and like a really nice everyday sort of pink, especially on medium skin tones. It's a very gorgeous pink to wear on a day-to-day -day basis without it being a full-on bright or neon or barbie pink so i've really been loving this and i think that's it so let me see what uh what is coming up next let me tell you guys so that you know in advance some of the things that i've already actually ordered just kind of throwing the end of the video hey i got this the urban decay naked ultimate basics palette love it so it's just like the basics palette the little one but it's a bigger a bigger version of it is what I was going to say and I've actually only worn it once and that's today it's what I'm using on my eyes along with the electric palette follow me on the Instagram I'll link the whole makeup look below so I will hopefully be doing a review with this at some point soon I ordered recently some of the new Jeffree Star lip ammunition lipsticks I ordered four of those so hopefully I'll do a review along with a haul video and in the haul video you'll see again the Colourpop stuff the new Anastasia Beverly Hills glow kit for the holidays the makeup by Mario um, eyeshadow palette as well as the Anastasia Beverly Hills foundation I've also ordered a shade and what else what else oh the Stila uh, highlighting palette for the holidays as well as the six um, liquid lipsticks along with the glitter lip topper so those are just some of the things to expect to see from me in the future I hope you guys are great oh and this is also new it says pretty I got this quite recently, only like about a week or so ago from River Island. And obviously, if you wear this, you have to make sure your face is looking perfect because you can't wear a t-shirt that says pretty and then go out looking like you just rolled out of bed because that's just wrong. So yeah, so I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what your thoughts are. Have you got any of these? Are you going to get any of them? And what are you looking forward to for the upcoming fall autumn season? Um, if I haven't mentioned it on here, I know I have done on Snapchat, I'm actually going to Canada at the end of October. I'm going to be there for one week and I am planning to go to Sephora. I don't know which one because I don't know the area that well. I am going to vlog my trip. Um, I am just going to stay with family and I will be there for a week. So it'll be a bit of a tight squeeze to try and get things fitted in. But anyway, we'll see. Anyways, I'm going to stop talking now. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.